All right, folks. The last shot you just saw was from about 4.30 p.m. Got my run in in the Adidas Ultra Boost shoes. Thanks to Bud, I'm driving back home after a video shoot in the mountains, and I'm gonna go back to the shed, or maybe just the patio, give you my initial impressions of the Adidas Ultra Boost. Anyway, one of those days, folks, just living, living well, living high up in the Rockies. All right, hope you're doing well, folks. Uh, it's Monday, ooh comment of the week uh oh uh oh Whoop. back at the recording studio that was a nice sunset nice sunset up in the mountains uh okay i went for a run earlier my first run ever in an adidas running shoe i remember when i was in high school these shoes and that frankly is the only exposure i've ever had to adidas shoes but they were basketball shoes so i think adidas has come so far in their, uh, in their running shoe department. Nobody in high school or college ever really dreamt about running in Adidas running shoes. It was always Nike or Asics or New Balance or Brooks, but Adidas has picked up their game. I think they have realized that there is a market to be made here in the running shoe community. And so this guy is the Adidas Ultra Boost. My initial impressions after one run, now I will give a full review after about 50 miles, so bear with me, but my initial impression is comfort. It's like running on a cloud, you know what I mean? And that is why Bud, my buddy, who sent me this shoe two days ago, three days ago, thank you Bud, he told me like, listen, this is gonna be a great recovery shoe. And Bud, you are exactly right. I would never wear this shoe up on a mountain, up in the 14ers. That's what these two shoes are for, which arrived a couple days ago, the Solomon Ultras and the La Sportiva Tempesta GTX. Whew, that's a mouthful. This guy, uh, it's, it's, it's very, a lot of cushion. See that right there? A lot of cushion right there. But I would never take it up into the mountains. There's not quite enough support in the upper and that is probably the highlight of this shoe. Well, maybe, maybe. I love the upper. It's a knit upper, which means it's like putting on a slipper. You know, when you put your slipper on in the morning and you're getting out of bed and you're like, ha ah, ha ha, yes, I can walk around my house when it's, you know, when, I, when my feet hurt a little bit or my legs hurt a little bit. That's what this knit upper does. It just feels like a slipper and it's beautiful. My initial impression is I love the shoe. It was great to run in today on the roads. Once again, I wouldn't really run in this on the trails to really ever, uh, because it just doesn't, it doesn't have the lugs on the bottom. The lugs are not really there. And I give a big thumbs up. Okay, but one thing, <laughs> one thing I would change about this shoe, I, I can already tell already, is that it actually is a little heavy. I feel like it could be, I don't know what the weight is. I'll try and look that up, but I feel like it could be quite a bit lighter um, if they, Basically, this is on the upper here where you lace the, sh the shoe. This plastic here, I frankly think could be removed. It allows you to cinch the shoes down a little bit tighter, but I just don't know if this plastic is necessary. And then same with this, um, I don't know if it's a, it's like a rubber plastic composite here on the heel. It's just, like I just don't know if it's necessary for this type of shoe when you're not really running on trails or rocks. Um, it's just like really hard and I think it's kind of heavy. So I think they could reduce the weight of this shoe. That's my only kind of feedback to Adidas about the Ultra Boost. And I bet they're working on it. I bet their next version will be even lighter. Um, it's not that heavy, but I, that's just a little, a little thing to ch think about changing Adidas. So um, it was fun to run in. Thank you, bud, for providing running shoes. I am beyond, <laughs> beyond grateful for three pairs of shoes in the last 10 days or whatever, two weeks. I just like... You know, you guys know I'm running a lot, especially if you follow me on Strava or you watch the vlogs about the racing. And I'm not, I'm not a sponsored athlete, um, so you know, it's like, <laughs> frankly, you, I, I'm running races to attempt to win some money sometimes, and using that money that I win to take care of the family, but then to also redeploy the cash to buy more running shoes because and like you know all the other stuff that goes into ultra running gels and uh mostly gels and baby food and because you know it does cost money to do this sport not as much as other sports but it does cost money so having these bud 
is clutch. Like, it, it, you've relieved me a little bit of the need to buy a road recovery shoe for the next, let's say, three to four months. Like this guy, I could probably get three to four months out of this guy, um, no problem, just running around on my recovery days here in Denver, Colorado. Love you guys. That is the vlog. Uh, this is not a shoe re review channel. Don't worry, don't worry. We're still doing the vlog, but shoes keep showing up at my door and I'm just like, oh. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.